show you a quick um, tutorial on how to cut a boo-boo I got the fabric already on the table so I just wanted to show you how to cut it and um, hopefully how to sew it as well it's a free simple um, boo-boo so I've already folded the fabric into four I'm just going to lower the camera so that you can see what I have done So this is the fabric. I'll move the camera a bit back. Trying to get the camera. So I folded the fabric into four, as you can see. I folded the fabric into four. It's a bubble and it's just going to have a joining at the shoulder. This is going to have a joining. At the shoulder so the whole of this is the length of the boo-boo so all I am going to do I'm just going to mark the um, shoulder measurements so half of the shoulder I'm going to move the fabric down a bit Okay, so I'll measure half of the shoulder here. Half of the shoulder is eight. I'm just checking to make sure I fold it properly. So I measure eight. So I'm going to be sewing the sleeve together with it. So all I'm just doing here, I'm just trying to get where the shoulder, half of the shoulder ends. So that's all I'm trying to do. So that's half of the shoulder there. So from here down will be the sleeve. From this point up there will be the sleeve. So I'm just going to measure from this half of the shoulder here. I'm going to come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. One inch for the shoulder slope. And then the neck, the back and front neck is the same thing. I'm just going to measure three and a half inches because we don't want it to be too wide. I'm going to be using a bias binding to turn the neck. So it's just going to be a round neck. So this is three and a half. Okay. And the dropness of the neck, I'm going to use four. So I'll get four and a half. The back and front is the same thing. You can use your ruler to draw a nice curve, but I can freehand it as well. Okay, so that's the neck. Don't want to be too wide, you don't want to be too low. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to connect the one inches shoulder slope to the neck. Once I connect this, I'm going to draw it all the way straight down. So I'm going to draw it all the way straight down. Okay. Oops. Just trying to put the fabric back properly. Okay, so from this shoulder, the half of the shoulder, I'm going to measure from there to here, I'm going to measure 12. Either 12 or um, 11. Because it's a boo-boo, so it's going to start, I'm just going to, like, um, I don't want the ham hole to be too, the hand because it's, I'm cutting it together with the sleeve I don't want it to be too too opened so I'm just going to mark them 12 first hopefully 12 should be all right and I'll draw a straight line so I draw a straight line across as well This is just a guideline 
I'm not going to be cutting it out. It's just a guideline for me to know what I'm doing. So from here, I'm going to cut. From here, I'm going to cut the neck open now. I was just checking to make sure everything is okay before I cut it. Okay, so I'm going to cut the shoulder slope. I'm cutting it all the way down because I'm going to sew it, sew the sleeve. I'm going to sew it all the way to meet here. Okay, so this is the neck and I've cut the shoulder opened so what I need to then do because I folded it into two I'm going to cut this part opened because that will be the second part so there's back so I'm going to cut here opened Okay, so I've cut it open now. So now it's not in two pieces. If you open it wide, it's not in two pieces. Can you see how wide it is? So this is the this is part of the shoulder to the sleeve. I will stitch it close. And then I'll stitch this point close as well. So this is the neck here. This is the neck. That's the neck. I'll use bias to face it. I stitch the shoulder all the way down, stitch the other side all the way down. And then from the point I marked 12, from the point I marked 12, I will start the stitching from the 12. I'm trying to look for it. Okay, there it is. I will start the stitching after I've done the shoulders, after I've done the shoulders and the neck, I will join them together of course, I will join them together here, but I will put bias to turn the neck first before I do the shoulders together. And then after that, from these 12 inches here, I will stitch from here. I will stitch from here on the right side. At the moment, I'm showing you the fabric on the wrong side. At the right side, when I finish doing the neck, um, sewing the neck and the shoulder, I'm going to turn it to the right side. I will turn it to the right side. This is the right side of the fabric. When I turn it, then I will measure the 12 inches that I measure from the shoulder down. I will measure 12 inches and I will start this stitching from there all the way down. Okay, so I will take it to the sewing machine and I will show you how I stitch it. Hello, uh, so this is the booboo -boo I was cutting earlier on. I was not able to do a video of how I sew it, but it's very simple. All I did with the neck, I just use a bias binding. I use a bias, as you can see, to turn the neck. And then I sew the shoulders together, overlock it, so it can be neat. And then the side, I just turn it, I stitch the hem. And sew it from the side i measured from the shoulder to here to here i measured 12 inches and then i just sew it from there you see where i sew it from all the way down so that's all i did it's a simple satin and boo boo dress or kaftan whichever you want to call it and it's very pretty very pretty, I like the fabric. It's very pretty, got stones on it, as you can see. So the back and the front is the same thing. 
the back and front is the same there's no difference okay guys thank you so guys if you like this video and it was helpful like share comment and subscribe positive comments please thank you i'll see you guys in my next video which will be the six pieces dress i am making so i'll see you guys soon bye